More now on that big win for the Boston Red Sox. World Series champs yet again. Taking game five from the Dodgers to clinch their fourth title since 2004. Kana Whitworth is there at Dodger Stadium where it all went down. Good morning, Kana. Hey, Robin, good morning. So Boston Mayor Marty Walsh is calling for the city to queue up the duck boats and celebrate the Red Sox this as the Dodgers lose another World Series at home for the second year in a row. The Boston Red Sox are world champs again. For the fourth time in 15 seasons with a 5-1 win over the Los Angeles Dodgers. Stands packed with LA celebrities like Dodgers fan Jimmy Kimmel and his arch rival Matt Damon. They're supporting the Sox with Ben Affleck, along with actress Leslie Mann and husband Judd Apatow. As Pierce hits one in the air to left center field. Game five led by the hero of game four, Steve Pierce with three home runs in less than 24 hours. Traded from Toronto to the Red Sox in June, the journeyman crowned World Series MVP. This has been the, the funnest year of my life. J.D. Martinez with a solo shot to center in the seventh, padding Boston's lead. The first World Series home run to come in the clinching game, what was that like? Everybody wants to step up, everybody wants to be, you know, the guy and stuff like that, but I feel like when you get up, to, when you get to this point, you don't even care who hits the home run, yeah. who gets the hit. As long as someone does it and yeah. you're able to just get the win. On little rest, David Price controlled the mound for seven straight innings. You retire 14 batters, you win the World Series. Do you ever think back to that time where you thought maybe you were going to quit baseball in college? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I don't think about that day really ever. That was a, a lapse in judgment on uh, on my part. And you know, my family and Coach Corbin and, and you know, my inner circle really rallied around me at that time. And for Mookie Betts, winning his first World Series ring is icing on the cake to what he calls a life of blessings. A lot of work you do for the folks in your community in Boston off the field, bringing the homeless people food after game two. Why do you choose to do that and will you do it again? Me and my family take pride in uh, the, the blessings that we have and uh, giving, giving uh, blessing other people. And back in Boston, Kenmore Square packed with people singing Sweet Caroline. We brought the trophy, we're bringing it back. Now, Steve Pierce grew up a lifelong Red Sox fan. I spoke with his dad after the game, and he said not only to see his son in that Red Sox uniform, but then watch him win MVP is absolutely a dream come true. But you guys, I have to tell you, there was a lot of joking around here that the biggest win might be everybody staying awake after that epic 18 <laughs> inning yeah. game on Friday. I know, I know. <laughs> but for the second year in a row for the Dodgers to lose at home, oh. Kana. I know that's heartbreaking for the Dodgers. But I tell you what, the only ones out here right now is me. The cleanup <laughs> I guess they're just going to move on to next year. <laughs> oh, great job as always, Kana. Get some rest. Thanks so much. How about those Red Sox? Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.